As always, if you haven't tried the question on your own first, please do so now before listening on. In order to find the minimum vertical distance between the parabolas, it's going to be helpful to draw a sketch of the two parabolas. So here are the graphs of the two parabolas. You could perhaps use a graphing calculator to help you plot them. And what we can do to understand what it is we're actually trying to minimize is to maybe select an arbitrary point on this parabola. Let's put it right there. Now we would know that the vertical distance from that point down to the x-axis would be equal to a, a y-coordinate. And of course for this parabola, the blue colored parabola, the y-coordinate is equal to x squared plus 1. So technically we could label that distance as just x squared plus 1. Now there's a point directly underneath that point on the red parabola. We'll shift it over to the left just a little bit so we can see it, but perhaps we can place it right there. And we know that the vertical distance from that point down to the x-axis would be defined by this equation. It's another y value because it's vertical, but this time the y value is defined as x minus x squared. So technically this little red distance there, hopefully you can see it, is x minus x squared. Now, of course, what we want is the distance between the parabolas. So if we look at the diagram carefully, the distance between the parabolas would be this distance right here. Hopefully it's clear from the diagram that that distance would equal the blue line minus the red line. In other words, the distance between the parabolas would be equal to x squared plus 1 minus x minus x squared. Now we can simplify this equation by distributing the minus sign into the parentheses and then combining the like terms. So here we have the most simplified version of the equation that represents the distance between the two parabolas. It is that distance that we are trying to minimize. And in order to do that, we're going to have to calculate the derivative of this equation. We can call the derivative d prime. And when we take the derivative of 2x squared, we'll just use a power rule. So we will pull down that 2 and multiply it by the coefficient of 2 to make 4x. We'll subtract 1 from the exponent to make it x to the first. The derivative of minus x is just going to be a minus 1, since there's a coefficient of minus 1 there. And then since plus 1 is a constant, its derivative will be 0. So the final derivative is 4x minus 1. To continue to find the minimum, we're going to set the derivative equal to 0 and solve for x. And when we do that, we can see that x is equal to 1 fourth. Now, we have to assure that this value of x does indeed minimize the distance function. And to do that, we can use either the first or second derivative test. Let's perhaps use the second derivative test in this case. So building off of the first derivative, which was 4x minus 1, we could calculate the second derivative as simply equaling positive 4. Now a positive second derivative means that the function is concave up, that is the distance function. So when x equals 1 fourth, we could see that a concave up function would be yielding a minimum at that value of x. So we could say that therefore at x equals 1 fourth, the distance is minimized. Now of course the question did not want the particular x value, it actually wanted the distance itself, but that's going to be straightforward because we have the distance equation right at the top here. All we need to do is plug our value of x equals 1 fourth into each x of our distance equation. So let's do that next. And when you plug in 1 fourth into the distance formula, you should get a value of 7 eighths, or if you prefer the decimal version of the answer, it would be 0.875. So either answer would give the minimum distance between the two parabolas. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe so you can stay tuned for additional calculus videos as well as videos from other subjects. And don't forget that you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.